Next thing we'll be talking about is amplitude. Now, as we can see from uh, this diagram over here, amplitude is the maximum displacement of a particle away from its rest position. So this is the amplitude of the wave. We can measure it by starting at the rest position and being displaced in the positive direction or being displaced in the negative direction. Either way, you're going to get the same answer because the wave is symmetrical around its rest position. So if the wave is graphed, then the height of the graph will be showing the displacement of the wave. And so that will show you the amplitude. Of course, sometimes waves are plotted with things other than displacement, but displacement is usually what's used. And so we can usually measure amplitude from a displacement time graph. Crests and troughs. These are particular parts of the wave as opposed to properties of the wave. And they're simply going to be the points of maximum amplitude, a crest, and minimum amplitude, a trough. So in a longitudinal wave, that is a wave where the particles are displaced in the same direction as the wave is moving, then they won't be called crests and troughs. They'll be called compression, where the particles are close together, and rarefactions when they're far apart. Remember that a longitudinal wave uh, is a wave uh, where the particles vibrate in the same direction as the wave's motion, something like a sound wave, or a wave sent lengthways down a slinky. So the distance between any two troughs or peaks, or compressions or refactions, will be the wavelength, because each crest is identical to the previous crest and each trough is identical to the previous trough. What is the difference between a crest and a trough? Now remember, crests and troughs are both points of extreme displacement, but they're in different directions. Can you remember which one goes up and which one goes down? The crest has the maximum displacement, so it's displaced in the positive direction which is normally up on a graph. A trough, on the other hand, has minimum displacement, so it's displaced in the negative direction. That's down on the graph. <laughs>